Good day, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished organizers and participants of the 7th International Forum on uh, Energy for Sustainable Development. My name is Vahram Javadan. I represent UNDP Armenia, and today I would like to share with you this presentation on uh, activities that UNDP supports in our country in the sector of energy efficiency and buildings. As of the UNDP's role in energy efficiency policy in country, I would like to mention the uh, support with privatization of energy efficiency in building sector in INDCs developed for Armenia. Also, uh, mandatory requirements for buildings energy efficiency were introduced in amendments of the law on energy saving and renewable energy, which was uh, adopted in May this year. Uh, also like to mention the governmental decision of December 2014 which mandated the consideration of energy efficiency in construction and reconstruction which was carried out under the state funded activities in, in country. As of the UNDP's role in uh, codes and standards in energy efficiency field worth to mention the technical regulation on the safety of buildings and structures which was developed uh, in the frames of the project in 2012 and enforced in 2016. Uh, one of the major achievements of the project was the new building code on thermal protection of the buildings which was also adopted a few months earlier. Uh, around 20 uh, international and local standards uh, regarding energy efficiency in buildings were developed and adopted or registered uh, during the project. Uh, as for the energy audit, we used to have the governmental decision on energy audit procedure, which mainly was covering the industrial energy audit. But with support of UNDP, this decision was upgraded and now it has a separate chapter on the building energy audit. Also, uh, two standards on energy efficiency password of the building and energy audit methodology were developed and registered in 2013 and 2016. A few words about some knowledge products developed uh, with support of UNDP, uh, particularly the database of insulation materials and lighting equipment was uh, developed in two editions in 2013 and 2016 was published and distributed, uh, the advisory handbook on technical solutions for the insulation of the building was adopted by the Minister of Urban Development and also distributed, and uh, worth to mention also the uh, replicable design of energy efficient residential houses, uh, which was uh, developed in the frames of the improving energy efficiency in buildings in 2014. This includes uh, the replicable designs for five buildings, which are posted on the Ministry of Urban Development website. They are free of charge, and anybody who decided to build a private house can just go online and download them, and that's it. I uh, would like to mention separately the bilingual textbook named Green Architecture which consists of uh, 10 thematic professional educational models and uh, this textbook is already included in the curricula for the masters and bachelor students of respective universities in country. Before project, uh, which means before 2010, uh, there are no uh, specific labs in, in country. So during these years, three labs were established. Two of them uh, were professional labs on testing and certification of insulation materials and lighting equipment. Another lab was established in the university for training needs. Uh, more than 13 types of materials were tested since then. And also uh, study tours and professional development for specialists was organized in testing and certification of materials in Armenia, Russia, Czech Republic and Germany. As uh, other projects in the region, uh, similarly ours has awareness raising component in it. 
in the frames of which uh, several trainings and contests for journalists were organized to educate them how to uh, cover the energy efficiency issues in media, uh, several educational events and trainings for professionals, for architects, engineers, instructors and other specialists uh, were uh, carried out with participation of local and international experts. Uh, a lot of informational materials, advertisement, documentaries were produced and broadcasted or distributed throughout the project activities. And finally, as uh, well, every project has a demonstration part, so we used to have uh, more than eight demonstration buildings, but in this presentation will uh, present a few of them. This one is a social building, which was new construction. Uh, was built in south of uh, the country, co-financed by Swiss Development and Cooperation Agency and the government of country. The design was totally changed of this building, which led to increase in the construction cost of 8%, but we have monitored energy efficiency improvement by more than 60%. And also, we have increased a little bit the living space in this building. The next building, unlike the previous one, is an uh, existing one, and the uh, pilot was about the reconstruction or uh, thermal modernization of this building. This is typical uh, Soviet time built 9 story 36 apartment building, and it was fully enveloped from outside, as you can see on the picture. The left one is a pilot building and the right one is a baseline building. And you can see also the numbers of before and after the implementation of the project. And we reached here about 60% of energy efficiency. And the number was monitored for two years, two heating seasons. On the next slide you can see the same picture but with infrared camera which shows the difference of the demonstration building and the rest of, of the city. Some other demonstration projects include, but not limited to the support to the private developer with the six multi-apartment buildings, the new school designed and built with support of UNDP, and by the way, this was the first LEED certified school in the region. Also, we supported the redesign and reconstruction of the hospital and some border crossing points between Armenia and Georgia were built based on the new design as well. A few words about exit strategy of the project for new construction and the reconstruction. For the first one, the exit strategy will be the continuation of the assistance for the enforcement of the new building code and new standards and uh, support for the adoption of the legislation and sub-legislative acts. Also, the capacity should be built for the energy auditors in country for certification of the buildings. As of the reconstruction, uh, the main exit strategy will be building the financial incentive schemes with involvement of municipality and administrations and promotion of the local market incentive mechanisms. And finally, a few slides on the new project, which is Green Climate Fund project to be implemented by UNDP and named the Risking and Scaling Up Investments in Energy Efficient Building Retrofits. Uh, this $20 million project, uh, project was approved in June this year by the Green Climate Fund Board and the project is mainly targeting residential and public buildings will exploit the complex measures uh, with legal and organizational staff, will use combination of grant and loan resources and will actively involve the municipalities and the private sector. And on the last slide we'll show the budget by the funding source and you can see here the grant of financing of 20 million from Green Climate Fund, the co-financing from the urban municipality, government of Armenia, UNDP, and also linkage to the loan resource from European Investment Bank in a value of 100 million euros. So this much was for today and if there are any questions in regards to 
the project and UNDP activities in the country were ready to answer. Thank you for your attention.